Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg, and if you're new here, I want you to please consider subscribing to this channel. I try to put out videos as frequently as I possibly can. Um, I'm shooting a lot of videos today because I have some time. I'm off today. Um, don't, don't tell anybody about this. I had no idea I was going to be off today. So I am off. So I'm trying to shoot as bunch, as many of, ooh, as many videos as I possibly can. I'm leaving all of that in. I'm not doing any edits today, folks. You're getting the real raw Greg. And that really didn't say right. No, that really didn't sound right. See, I don't know. Maybe I should edit all that, right? I haven't had my coffee yet. And it's, it's already 11 o'clock. No caffeine. That is what's going on with me. All right, let, let's get into today's video. So um, I know you just love when I talk about Dan Snyder. I can always tell it by the number of views. I, I'm being uh, facetious because the views always drop out when I talk about Dan Snyder. But I, I am going to talk about Dan Snyder for just a little bit because Seems like uh, Congress, you know, they have asked uh, Dan Snyder and, of course, uh, Roger Goodell, uh, the commish of the NFL, uh, to come forth in front of the um, committee to testify. Uh, Roger Goodell is going to testify. Uh, Dan Snyder has turned the offer down. And so the committee... Uh, Oversight Committee has reached out to Dan Snyder and is basically uh, giving him sort of a, hey, why, why not? You know, please, can, can you just kind of share some things with us? Dan Snyder, if he's not being forced to, he's not. And he's going to try everything he possibly can to get out of it. And right now he's not. Now, does is it a good look for him not to be in front of the... The Oversight Committee is not a good look, but it, it's not going to be a good look for him either way because, quite frankly, he's not going to be able to talk himself out of a bad situation. That That is one thing that Dan Snyder is not very good at, and that's talking himself out of a bad situation. He usually hires other people to do that for him, and hope, his hope is that maybe Roger Goodell will. But I think at this point right now, I, I really believe that the relationship between him and Goodell might be strained. Uh, we will see. We will definitely see how, how much that is actually accurate when Goodell gets in front of the Oversight Committee to actually start talking about all of this. Um, but I, I, I can guarantee you, though, uh, you know, Goodell, he's very good. Uh, with uh, you know the the um, the lawyer talk, you know he is a lawyer, um, so you know he'll be able to be in front of this uh, oversight committee and probably tell them anything they want to hear without really telling them what they want to hear, if that makes sense. Uh, whereas Dan Snyder, he's not going to be able to do that. He he doesn't have that capacity. He's not a lawyer, right? He's a businessman. Uh, but he's not a lawyer, and so he is not going to be able to fare as well. It's going to come down to the fact that they're going to have to subpoena uh, Dan Snyder to be in front of this committee. And at that point, Dan Snyder will probably likely uh, plead the fifth. Uh, and again, will that, um, you know, show uh, or be a good look on, on Dan Snyder? No, it will not. But what... You know, right now, there is no good move for Dan Snyder. And, you know, this is just buying him time. I really feel like it is. I think it's buying him time until we get to the midterm elections. Because I can guarantee you, midterm elections, if there's a big turnover, especially in this oversight committee, all of this is going to go away. And if it all goes away, Dan Snyder is probably going to be off the hook. Unless, unless there's enough when it comes to some of this financial stuff that the rest of the owners are up in arms enough to where they want him out. And that, I think, in the long run, I think that is the only way you get Dan Snyder out as owner of the Washington Commanders will be because the other owners want him out. And, 
you know, it's going to come down to him affecting their their income and their money. And that will get you fired, you know, faster than anything else. You know, sexual harassment, eh. Oh, you're messing with my money. Now, that is serious business right there. And uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens uh, with this uh, oversight committee stuff. Um, but I I'm telling you what, um, you know, if you're a Washington Commanders fan, you want nothing more than to have Dan Snyder removed as owner. Uh, because you're tired. You're, you're frankly, you're tired of seeing this team lose. And this team lose loses because it all goes back to the ownership. I mean, it really does. It goes back to the ownership. Really good coaches. Now, I like Ron Rivera. Don't get me wrong. But in the past, really good coaches have not wanted to come here because of ownership. Players have not wanted to come here because of ownership. And I think that this team could have won some Super Bowls had it not been for ownership. And um, so that's where it all lies. And for years, I didn't want to believe the fact that this team would never win a Super Bowl as long as Dan Snyder's owner. So far, that's been true. You know, we, we're going on uh, how many years now with Dan Snyder's owner? What, 23 years or so? Is Dan Snyder owner of this uh, Washington football organization? And we haven't even sniffed the Super Bowl. And right now, I mean, who knows? We'll even be in the playoffs this year. So, folks, uh, get ready. I think things are going to heat up with uh, this oversight committee thing. I really want to find out what happens. I want them to uncover this Beth Wilkinson thing once and for all. I want to know what happened with all of that. And I know that a lot of you guys want to know that as well. I know we want to talk about football on this channel, and I want to talk about football more than anything else. But, I mean, I can't help it. I really want to know about this Beth uh, Wilkinson uh, investigation because that was swept under the rug. And this, um, this investigation that the NFL has right now with this, uh, this lady, and I, I can't remember her name. Her last name's White, I believe. Where, where's that been? That, I mean, that, that's been like silent for the past few months. We haven't heard a word about this. So I, I, want, I want some type of closure on all of this. You know, whatever happens, right? Anyway, what do you guys think about all this open it up to you let me know in the comments below if you enjoy this video please give it a like um, you know comment share it with your buddies again if you're enjoying this channel uh, please consider subscribing to this channel I really need your subscriptions I need your assistance with this channel and that said um, let's get into the next video